<laughs> well, you're about to hit off. Who's the, who's the bigger hitter? Who's going to win it? Pollard. <laughs> I'll try to win then. Comfortably. <laughs> I've never seen you concede so quickly before, Kevin. Mate, I'm, I'm now an Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> Happy memories here, KP? I love this ground. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, some really good ones and some terrible ones too. We got belted yeah, last year. We got belted in 2006. Um, but then we did a good job in 2009. But I've got some runs here. So, um, yeah, looking forward to playing on this track again. Kevin, how do you think you'll be received from the Daily Parade or Adelaide crowd? I mean, you know what? Adelaide crowd has always been amazing. Um, it's uh, the other parts of the country, which um, <laughs> I've copped uh, a lot more. The, the Adelaide crowd are a very knowledgeable crowd. Um, they love their cricket here. Um, I've got on really well with uh, the Adelaide crowd. And um, they're very respectful. Um, T20's entertainment, there's going to be lots of kids. It's, it's an entertainment package. So I'm here to enjoy, to, to entertain, to have some fun, to try and score some runs, to try and help the team get over the line this year. Um, and just enjoy myself. I'm, I'm not here as, a, as, a, as the enemy, that is for sure. <laughs> here is the marquee me. play though, KP. Is there, do you feel some very pressure to perform that year? I always put pressure on myself because I set myself such high standards. Um, but I also take pressure of myself because the weight of expectation in terms of performance I've had to do since 2005. So I've got my processes of um, making sure that I don't try and create mountains out of molehills and that's why I've probably delivered on a lot of big occasions. Um, so I'll use those same processes over the next six weeks. If I, and I've always said throughout my career, I'll train hard and I'll do everything I can off the field. To, to be successful on it. Um, if I'm successful on it, I know why. If I'm not successful on it, I can always say um, that I tried my hardest and did my best. And no one's guaranteed anything in life, mate. No, how, nothing. How about the boys around you? How's the squad looking? Any questions for Mr. Pollock, please? No, <laughs> Both of you on the squads, actually. First on, on Melbourne and. The, uh, yeah, our squad's good. Great, great bunch of guys. I've known Cam for ages. Um, so when I got the opportunity to come and play our chair, um, yeah, I, I grabbed it uh, with both hands, so Shippy's been fantastic. Um, just all the guys in general, are just such cool guys, nice guys, hospitable guys. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a real good week of prep. Kyron, six uh, sixes yesterday in the practice game. Must have felt pretty good. How many? Six, six, six in a row. In a row? Yeah, in the one over. <laughs> That's just a practice game. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, it's, it's fine, you know, getting a hit out. Um, I've been travelling. You know, for the past couple of days, I've been to South Africa, I've been to the Caribbean and back to South Africa, then back here. So, you know, for me, it was just to get a little hit out. It was good for me. It was good for the team, you know, team gelling well together. You know, Chuck has his plans and, you know, hopefully we can come and execute. You know, the first game is always going to be pressure. So, you know, in front of our home crowd, hopefully we can, you know, give a good account of ourselves and, you know, start well. I think John was the bowler, John Holland. How is he feeling after all? Does he <laughs> want to give up the game after that? No. I guess he just tried to improve from that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, these things happen just a practice game. You know, it might have been different if it was, you know, cameras and a crowd. So, you know, these things happen, but if you're going to learn from it, I'm going to learn from it as well. And, you know, it's, it's good for the team that, you know, we had that sort of, you know, intensity in the practice. And, and I said, hopefully we can, you know, bring that sort of intensity onto the cricket field. Do you think you can add what's needed for the strikers coming back to finally make the top four? I hope so. Um, you know, whatever I want to achieve here is, you know, give a positive impact, you know, my performance when it comes to that. But, you know, let's see, time will tell. Um, let's get the first game out of the way. Hopefully we'll leave full points from this game and then we'll take it from there. On the first game, probably like stars of tournament favourites, biggest favourites. How do you think uh, the first matchup's going to play out? How many years now have they been favourites? <laughs> well, we haven't made the finals in five years either, but yeah. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, you know, they've always had a good team. You yeah. know, when you watch their, their, their team on paper, they have a very good batting lineup as well. You know, bowling, they have some experience. We've played international cricket, you know, as well. So it's going to be a keenly contested match. Um, and I said, hopefully, you know, whoever, you know, panics less and, you know, do the basics right on that day, it's going to come out on top. So hopefully it's Adelaide and, you know, I said, we get the ball rolling on a positive note. Bit of spice out there? Say again? Bit of spice out there? I try not to. Um, I've got myself in a lot of trouble <laughs> recently, so I'll he try. Won't take me on, mate. No chance. <laughs> no chance. Nah. So I'll, I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to behave. Hopefully, you know, they have no plans to come at, to come at me. Then I might have to react. But you know, other than that, I'll be fine. Kevin, have you? Um, you've obviously been watching England in the series against Sri Lanka. Disappointing to see them. Haven't seen a single thing. No, not since <coughs> I've been here. No, I haven't. I don't even know what time they've been playing. I haven't got you. Not, not interested. No, not not interested. I'm very interested in getting myself ready for this uh, this series. So, 
No, I, I haven't seen anything. Like, nothing. Okay. So. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah. Yep. Is it hard to sort of keep the fire going when you're coming, you know, playing domestic 2020 cricket in Australia? Um, it would be very hard to keep the fire burning if one man and his dog turned up. But I think when you get crowds of 20, 25,000 people, it's an entertainment package. Um, the marketing teams from all the franchises do such a good job. Um, goodness, it's as close to international cricket as I've got at the moment. So um, I just love playing cricket. Um, I love playing on the big stage. I love uh, enjoying my, my time. And what better place? I mean, it's absolutely freezing in the UK at the moment. And it's gorgeous here. And I'm going to be playing and doing something that I love tomorrow night. So. I'm buzzing. I can't wait to get started. Just being out here, is that you know, a potential step back into the sort of, uh, national fold for you? I think you're asking the wrong man. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure. Do you hope so? Of course I do. How long can you go on for, mate? Me? Yeah. I think um, somebody told me, some, uh, Sankakara got runs the other day. I see Eunice Collins yeah. um, got runs. Um, Miss Bar still playing. Chanderpaul is still playing. Chanderpaul still playing. Callis got runs in his last test match. Um, I'm 34. Goodness, I, I reckon I've still got four four good years in me. Body feels fresh. Um, hope so.